welcome you to this two-day conference, Back to Basics, Role of Property in the IP System at NLU Delhi. I'm honored to be amongst this gathering of learned and erudite speakers and audience. From what I can gather, you all have traveled long distances from across the country and abroad. I welcome you all on behalf of the Center for Innovation, Intellectual Property and Competition and from the entire National Law University Daddy family. We are jointly hosting this conference with the Center for the Protection of Intellectual Property at George Mason University, Washington, D.C. We are glad to be partners in this fantastic venture. I'm very glad from George Mason University who have collaborated with us through the last few months to put this conference together. Professor Mark, a special thanks to you and your team for putting this together. I understand that the team from NLU Delhi and Jad Mason has been very successful in requesting a panorama of excellent speakers and discussants to join us over the last two days. I take this opportunity to personally welcome them. I'll keep my remarks very brief since you have the entire two days for yourself to relish the ideas emanating from this conference. I'm sure you will have a wonderful time uh, at the National Law University Delhi for this conference. The idea for this conference germinated during the visit of Professor Ranveer Singh, the Vice Chancellor of National Law University Delhi last year. The Vice-Chancellor and my colleagues from our IP Centre discussed with friends from Jad Mason University about how some of the most fundamental issues pertaining to IP as property were often a subject of a loose talk with less content and more rhetoric. The nuance is a casualty. The aim of this conference is to precisely put more intuitive narratives in perspective. These perspectives are grounded in the realities of business, economic systems, and market, and broader economic, social economic realities, which we all could agree, disagree, or agree to disagree without any content or coercion. And that's what makes academia a fit place for having these dialogues. After all, the notion of property has its own sensitivities, more so the notion of intellectual property that is property emanating from human thought. But there is a context to what we are doing in this conference. Over the last few years, we have witnessed an increase in tension in how courts, executive, and legislation have been restructuring the intellectual property bargain. This has generated an intense scholarly debate among academics, academically minded practitioners, and the policymakers on what are the counters of this bargain if IP is property. There is a great task cut out for all of you today. I feel very honored that the IP Center and the National Law University Delhi has been able to uh, be part of this great scholarly initiative. I have seen this university grow leaps and bounds during the last 10 years of its existence. Yes, we are a young institution, but we are already on the global map. We have collaborations with the institutions worldwide. Our work speaks for itself. The faculty, peer group, and its achievements, and student achievements, are second to none. Our faculty has produced excellent scholarship, won awards and fellowships. We have produced our own Rhodes Scholars, won different moves, and have always tried to make it better. Friends, the conferences like this have only bolstered our ability to be an active collaborator in global debates on law and public policy. Again, without much ado, I welcome you all. Hope you all have a wonderful conference and comfortable stay there. Wish you all the best for your two days deliberation. I Welcome you all on behalf of the National Law University Delhi, and I hope that this conference will result 
into some tangible outcome, which would be immensely useful in factoring the same into either reviewing our policy or contributing more effectively to the policy decision in the field of IP. Thank you, Anand. Professor Mark Schultz to address the crowd. Thank you and good morning. The Vice Chancellor has left me an easy task because he has described the uh, purpose of our conference so eloquently. I do want to say though thank you, uh, deep, a deep thank you to Yogesh Pai, Professor Pai and his team for collaborating with us and for doing most of the difficult work in preparing this conference and organizing it. Uh, it's been a pleasure and a privilege to work with Professor Pai and his team. Uh, we, we came to know of him a, a couple of, two years ago uh, because he was recommended to us by many scholars in our network. Indeed, some of them are here. Uh, and we've developed a good working relationship with him. We respect his work deeply. Uh, we respect the National Law University deeply as we've come to know it. And it's a privilege and honor to be here. Uh, the Center for Protection of Intellectual Property uh, is dedicated to studying the, uh, the positive outcomes that intellectual property can produce and to discussing how to build a system that ensures that intellectual property contributes to the development of flourishing national economies and individual lives. That uh, intellectual property supports innovators and creators in their endeavors and helps them to develop their expertise, their careers, and their businesses to the good of us all. And indeed, uh, to that end, uh, this conference contributes to that purpose. Uh, we're here to discuss exactly how intellectual property as a property right uh, can uh, be best designed to contribute to all of those goals. So with that, I welcome all of you. I thank you for attending and I greatly look forward to the next day and a half of our discussion. Thank you.